Hi everyone, welcome to Craft Our Paper Stash Cards, which is where several of us make cards out of paper from our stash on the 15th of every month. We don't really have a set time. We like to get things up around 7 a.m. Eastern, but this month I'm late. Um, it'll probably be hmm, around 10 by the time this gets up onto YouTube, so I apologize. I'm still in my funk, guys. I am really struggling this month, but that's not what this is about. So, I um, have several of these card of the month kits from spellbinders um it says makers mart but it was spellbinders it was from march of 2017 and it was the card of the month kit combined with the uh, oh, oh you know what i think this was actually a special i got because i wrote on here i got it for ten dollars but it also came with the small die of the month kit and the dies this time i actually like um are mostly flowers and a label and a swirly and some leaves. I only used a couple of them. So let me show you. Um, I'll just show you the picture of the kit. This is what it is. It's like succulents and some abstracts and some feathers and tassels and die cuts. And um, there is a nice spool, not that I need more of this, but of, um, well, all these pretty ribbons, first of all. I love the colors of it. And this whole big roll of rose gold foil washi tape. So I obviously broke into some of those. And I did use quite a few of the die cuts, although not all of them. I did one card, this one here, that they show you. And then the rest I just did on my own. But I did not put the tassel on it. And their leaves are die cut in rose gold foil which I didn't have a piece of in my kit so they must have supplied that separately I don't know but um yeah so I used a different color cardstock that was actually in the kit so they give you a couple pieces of different color cardstock they give you um like textured um, base cards a2 and envelopes and um, then they give you pattern papers and then this one had also some words and some um, puffy letters which I didn't use any of um, I did use two of the w words um, and then yeah tassel and they gave glitter which I didn't end up using any of so that's really the kit so let me show you the cards I made I made six um, the card kit says it'll make 12 and it will um, I just didn't do 12 today so especially since I'm late um, so here is the first one it's it's as intended but like I said I didn't do the tassel out the bottom I used the green card stock that was in the kit uh, which you'll see on the third card so what this is is a piece of their lighter green cardstock they had in there with washi um, put around the edges of it and then washi down the middle this is a cut apart a die cut they gave so is this and I bumped this one up on dimensionals but glued that one down and before I put this one up I die cut the leaves twice and put them there and inside on that one is blank which I don't I have to go back and do something with that this is the next one wasn't any of their pattern. In fact, um, as I was just getting ready to do this video, I realized that on their little brochure thing, uh, they have the heart, they have it on this kind of triangu triangular paper, which I ended up not using yet. They have the heart and this um, random act of kindness thing over it and a tassel and uh, Actually, it even looks like the whole little jar of bling, which doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, um, I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't even look at the ones behind that, the, that one there. So, but this was in there. This ribbon was in there. Um, I've kept the cards pretty basic as far as the structure. 
the starting structure is always a mat and then the designer paper and then I adorned it with ribbon or whatever and this with love was in there so I just bumped these two up on dimensionals there were five little flowers in the kit I have one left uh, this is glued down and that's about it and on the inside I do have more purple and white oops I'm sorry I'm off, off frame I'm stuck too so that's that one Here's the random act of kindness that they had on the other one, but I liked it better here. And then they did give some wood pieces, and I just put the enjoy there. Another one of the flowers. This is the washi tape again. And this one, I have the green with the white on the inside. I don't like putting their white on the inside because it's textured, and I think that's going to make it harder to write on, but oh well. Then this one, the globe was in there. This is one of the stickers, but they're sort of not completely clear, but sort of translucent. And I put that on a piece of cardstock, which is this color. Um, and there, I do have that color backing the, the, the succulent designer paper. These butterflies came in the kit, which have um, two parts which this one is stuck together for some reason there we go there we go so they have dimension and then the, they gave a whole sheet of glue dots and they're very strong but i really don't like them because they're very they're big they're really big and so i put them under this ribbon and they show and i don't like that so i put these two little flowers on to hide the glue dots um, if they were just on the back it would be all right but i made the mistake of putting them on the front so the globe and the dream are bumped up and none of them say anything inside i just put the extra cardstock in for some to add um strength and i'll have to go back and do that on the first one this is another sticker i just put it on an extra piece of the white they gave and then this Okay, what I did here is I took that same strip of white, I think. I put two rows of the rose gold washi down it, rather than pulling out my own rose gold foil. And then I used the smallest flower die cut, which is two pieces, and ran it through my die cut machine a couple times and to get embellishments on here because it just looked a little plain. These two feathers were in the kit, as was this lavender tassel and I wrapped that around the tassel and then I put a glue dot above it and just below it to hold it in the ring in place and then I bumped these up on dimensionals they gave a little yellow sheet of dimensionals and I used it all up including cutting it the way I do my normal dimensionals and so that's that one. Oh, and this came in the kit I have another one of them left and here I just used another strip of washi and the purple paper on the back. And the last one I did was another succulent card. Um, this is a die cut succulent. Here I used a starburst punch from Stampin' Up to put the die cut on and then I bumped that whole thing up, put the ribbon down like a banner. This be happy was in the kit. I don't really like telling people to be happy so I have a problem with that but oh well and then this beautiful butterfly that exactly matches the paper and then inside I didn't do anything with that yet I have to figure out I think I'm out of this lighter paper and I didn't want to use up all this paper as a background so I had to figure out what I want I might just put in another sheet of uh, you know like white some kind of white paper in there and ink around the edges maybe with uh, I don't know yet um, I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe a light green kind of thing or something. I'm not sure. So those are my six cards that I did from this kit. Um, I could have gone on, but I my mojo is flute has flown the coop, guys. It's gone. So I figured a kit would be the best thing to start out working with, and I have some sitting on my floor here that I really need to use up and get off my floor <laughs> so that is what I ended up with I hope you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you did and go check out everyone else's projects this month uh, I know that at least four people posted at 7 a.m. Eastern 
this morning. So I hope you've already checked them out and I'm the last straggling person. If not, be sure to go and check them. Plus uh, there's one in my Facebook group normally. I haven't even gone on to check that yet. So uh, we shall see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hugs, love, and peace. Stay safe.